Sign Wizard has always been great at text editing, and now in Sign Wizard 7 we have Paragraph Text, the next generation text engine. So in this video I'll go through some of the capabilities of Paragraph Text using the items that I have here on the screen. So the first thing I'll talk about is how to use large amounts of text with Paragraph Text. So here I have this text, the first few paragraphs from the I Have a Dream speech by Martin Luther King. When I double click here to enter Paragraph Text, you can see that I have a couple of icons down here at the bottom. This one is for adjusting the line spacing, and this one is for adjusting the character spacing. Now there are three main operating modes uh, of paragraph text. This one is called simple wrapping, and so I can adjust the spacing of the text using this control bar here at the bottom. We also have a no wrapping mode, in which each line goes until there's a carriage return. And then we also have frame mode. And frame mode also lets you adjust the size of the frame by dragging these, these control points around the outside. Additionally, in frame mode, we can set up multiple columns. So if I go here and I enter two, now I can have two columns. And there are several other adjustments in here as well. So for example, I can adjust the size of the gutter. And then if I adjust the spacing here, then I can have the text scale and wrap within the frame. So very flexible in working with large amounts of text. Now the next item that we'll look at has to do with mapping text either to a circle, to a path, or to a shape. So here I have this I have a dream text. And what I'd like to do is map this to a circle. So I go here to Paragraph Text, Map, Map to Circle. So once I have the text on the circle, I can adjust the spacing. If I go back here, I can adjust even the scale. And I can adjust also the size of the circle so that it wraps around. So if I go too far, get back into Paragraph Text mode, then I can adjust the spacing back. So very flexible in terms of mapping to a circle. In addition, if I unmap this, move that circle out of the way, I can map to a path as well. So if I go to paragraph, map, map to path, now I have this Bezier curve. And I can go ahead and map the text to this Bezier curve. When I click back on the text, again, I can adjust the spacing just like this. Now, there is another capability of paragraph text, which is auto weld. So let's say that I want to change this font to a serif font, and I want to bring this text down here together. You can see that there are overlapping sections. So if I go here to auto weld, it'll automatically over weld the overlapping sections whenever I release the, uh, the mouse when I'm spacing. You can also go in and adjust the individual letter spacing with each of these control points as well. So in addition to mapping to a simple path like this, you know, you can also map to a shape. So here I have some text and I have this ellipse. So if I make a group of these two, again, paragraph, map, map to path. So now it maps around the outside of this shape. So again, if I go over here, select the text, now I can adjust the spacing, I can adjust the scale. Another thing I can adjust is the spacing of the text relative to the path. So if I go here and I just use the mouse wheel, I can have that text go outside or inside of the path. So very flexible in terms of mapping to any shape, any object, or any path. If I want to remove this, again I can unmap. Here I have some text. This is actually uh, the peace sign from Wingdings, the Wingdings font. Delete that. So if I make a group of these two, now I can map to this path. And so this technically is a font, uh, even though it's a series of, of shapes. 
So several options for mapping to a path. So next I'd like to go take a look at this text up here. And again, I now have auto weld turned on, so I can simply overlap there. Whoops, auto weld. And then with this text, we have a very easy way to create a bulleted list with this icon, or a numbered list with this icon. So, simple way to format text. We also have a, a menu board item that I won't be covering in this video, but we have a menu board item as well. Now I'd like to show how paragraph text enables dynamic effects. And dynamic effects are effects that can be edited later on, and I'll show you how this works. So I'm going to start with this, I have a dream text. I'm going to go ahead and make this blue. And then I'll go to effects, dynamic outline. And if I zoom in, I can just simply drag an outline just like that. And I'll go ahead and say done. And I'll go back up to effects, and I'll say I want to do a soft shadow. So I'll just put a simple soft shadow. I'll knock down the, this a little bit. Bring that back up. And I can just adjust the position. Okay, and there's our soft shadow. And now let's say that I'd like to change the font. So I can just go up here and click on the font I want. I can also adjust the spacing. Again, if we have auto weld turned on, it'll automatically weld even after I've created the outline in the shadow. Now I can continue and I can add an image fill. And over here we have our image fill library. I can scroll down here and find the, uh, some clouds. So I can adjust the scale, the color, the contrast, all kinds of things. And then I can click done. So now I've got a cloud image fill. And one final effect, I'll add an easy bevel. It gives it more of a 3D look. And we have a lot of settings for easy, easy bevel, but I'll just go ahead and keep it the way it is. Say done. So now, of course, still, I can adjust the spacing. I can weld. I can change the font. So very flexible in terms of adding multiple effects, but then still being able to change them. So one final thing is I'll go ahead and unmap this from the path. Now I just have this text. Now I have this picture. And what I can do, let me move this up to the top. What I can do now is I can actually do a photo mask of this picture. So what I'll do again one more time is change the font and I want to find a nice, a nice thick font. We'll do this font right here. And again, I'll bring this in. Maybe just shrink it in a little bit. I will go ahead and take off the image fill. And so we'll say remove. And let's say that I'd also like to edit the text and it's just going to say dream. So at any point, I can go back, edit the copy. So I'll just bring this right here. Then I simply make a selection, an effects, and say photo mask. Now I can adjust the position of the image. Let me zoom in a little bit. Adjust the position of the image, and say done. So now I still have my bevel, the outline and the shadow, and I have this image filling inside. I can change this to any other image. I can adjust the position of the image and the scale, all using paragraph text and dynamic effects. So that's the end of the demonstration for paragraph text. Again, great working with large amounts of text, uh, great working with dynamic effects. You also have a lot of flexibility in terms of other capabilities with text. Thank you very much.